If you remember the Buffalo shooting that just happened, make sure you watch until the end. It gets interesting. So if you didn't know, this guy here woke up and drove 200 miles to a grocery store in Buffalo, New York, shooting and killing 10 people and injuring three others. Now, among the people who were killed was a guy named Aaron Salters, and this is where things get a bit interesting. Now, what caught my attention about this is that Mr. Salters was just on the news about a month ago explaining an invention he made, which was an engine that runs completely off water, no fuel needed. A completely hydrogen fuel system. And we all know what happened to the last person who decided to come forth with an invention similar to this one. Before Buffalo police rushed to Topps Friendly Market Saturday, there was Aaron Salter, the security guard, killed as he served and protected. Aaron Salter, 55, retired Buffalo police officer. Loved electric cars. Loved electric cars. He built a lab in his garage where he spent countless hours working to develop an engine that could run on water. Develop an engine that could run on water. It's not running off a gas mule. No, there's no gas. Well, I can't uh, tell you how I use it. I do have a uh, a patent pending. A local inventor has discovered a way. Hear this: to use water to run your car. Many hats in his life. Aaron Salter Jr. wore many hats in his life. Retired police officer, substitute teacher, but one of his true passions was science. He built a lab in his garage where he spent countless hours working to develop an engine that could run on water. It's not running off a gas fuel? No, there's no gas fuel. No, no gas fuel. Sadly, for all he was in life, the world is learning his story because of the courage he displayed doing his job, protecting his community. Working security at the Topps grocery store, Salter engaged the shooter, who was heavily protected by body armor. We have evidence that he struck him at least one time, and that unfortunately had no effect. Not everyone would have made the same choice, to run towards gunfire. And with his experience, 30 years on the Buffalo police force, he had to have guessed the shooter had an assault rifle. Yet Salter tried, ultimately in vain, to save the lives of others. Aaron was, uh, I mean, a great individual, and I know he, in his heart, he wanted to save as many people as he could. And I, I, it didn't surprise me to hear that he engaged the guy right away that tried to stop him. Salter retired from the Buffalo Police Force in 2018, and by all accounts, he didn't need this job at Tops, working security. Surviving a job in law enforcement and making retirement, yeah. It's a big deal for you personally and for your family because they expect, you know, you can kind of ride it out now and enjoy your life. But Salter chose to continue serving his community because he believed he could make it better. Now his former colleagues are trying to get him reinstated into that police force for a single day so his city can honor him with the formal police funeral they say he deserves. Mike Trollet, Global News. In the top, our news here at 6 o'clock, an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way, hear this, to use water to run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. Water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. He has developed what's called a water fuel cell. It has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. Myers started working on this project four years ago. He's not a scientist. He isn't even a chemist. In fact, he never graduated from college. Myers was determined, he says, to design something to protect this country from oil embargoes. And we have calculated that if we take the dune buggy from Los Angeles to New York, we would roughly use 22 gallons of water. The Pentagon flew a lieutenant colonel in last week to look at Meyer's invention. There is talk of possibly using it in the Star Wars defense program and to run army tanks. Myers is currently perfecting a water fuel cell for cars. It will cost about $1,500. He says it won't need any maintenance and you won't have to replace it. It will be at least two years before the fuel system goes into mass production. The date happens will be one the fuel industry hates. 
but it'll put a smile on the face of those who've had to say at one time or another, fill her up. I'm Ralph Robbins. As you can see, many patents have already been received, and many more are forthcoming. To date, over 42 patents have been applied for.